Good evening, everyone. Only two boys basketball teams were in action tonight. It was a battle of the Mid Peninsula Conference as the Gwyn Model Towners traveled to Ishpeming to face the Hematites. The Hematites and Model Towners are both being coached by first year head coaches at their respective programs. How about first quarter? Model Towners have the lead, but Hart Holmgren is cutting away at it. Here he is pulling up and knocking the jumper down. Ishpeming trailed 13 9. But Gwyn has an answer. Reed White Wiedenhofer takes a shot from just inside the three point line and nails it. Gwyn pushes their lead to six. Ishming does respond in the second quarter and will tie the game. Matthew Trewick finds Dondre Yoey, who drives the lane and will get the floater to fall. Game tied at 15. Gwyn pushed their lead back to four, though, on this Tucker Taylor shot off the Austin Forbes assist. It's 19 15 Model Towners. Ishming, though, they kept finding ways to keep this game, keep themselves in this game. Hart Holmgren would knock down a triple to tie the game this time at 24. This was all in the second. And then Holmgren, he would do it again. Yoey will drive and kick back to Holmgren, who knocks down the wide open three. Ishming led 31 to 24, but the Model Towners will come out with the victory 65 to 52. Well, the NMU women's basketball team is 7-3 to start the 2016-17 season and have two tough home games coming up. Head coach Troy Madsen spoke to me today about Thursday's competition, the Finley Oilers. This is going to be a tough game because they play a style that's very, very unique um, to uh, the way we play. They're, they'll press us for 40 minutes. Uh, they run a man-to-man -man, uh, uh, pressure and a zone pressure defense that's going to give us be bothersome to us. So we need to be extremely efficient on both ends of the court, whether it be defense or offense. We need to be really efficient in the things that we do. The Wildcats will face off with Finley tomorrow from the Barry Event Center. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. Eastern time. The Cats are looking to improve their 2-1 conference record. Finley does enter this game with a 5-5 overall record and 1-3 in the GLIAC. Well, the Michigan Tech Huskies will get their shot at the Hillsdale Chargers tomorrow night. Michigan Tech head coach Kim Cameron talks about the upcoming challenge that the Huskies will face. Two more South teams. Uh, Hillsdale comes in. They're number one in the league in offensive rebounds. Uh, they're second in the league in steals. Uh, and rebounding has been an issue for us this entire year. It's something that we talk about all the time and something that we really need to be good at. And um, they're two of their players are the top two offensive rebounders in the league. Michigan Tech is currently 6-2 on the season with a 2-1 conference record. Hillsdale enters this contest with a 7-3 record and 2-2 two and two in conference play. The Huskies will face the Chargers tomorrow from the SDC. Tip-off is at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. And don't forget, both the men's teams are also in action as well. Michigan Tech against Hillsdale at 7.30 Eastern time. Tech is 4-5 on the season with a 2-1 GLIAC record. While Hillsdale is sitting at 0-4 in the conference this year, and Northern Michigan and Finley will battle from the Barry starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. NMU at 3-5 and 1-2 and and in the GLIAC. Finley at 5-3 and 2-2. And and Be sure to tune into your TV6 early news tomorrow to hear from both Kevin Luke and Bill Saul about their upcoming opponents.